Hey, what's happening? I'm Claudio, and today I just want to show you guys some cool stuff that I got. The other day, my wife and I were visiting her parents, and they just happened to be cleaning out their garage. They found a bunch of really cool stuff uh, from her dad's dad and her mom's grandfather, I believe. A couple of the other items I got from like a thrift shop, antique shop uh, here in town, and um, some of these other stuff I just found at friend's house or whatever. Uh, so anyways, just want to show you guys what I got and we'll go from there. So I guess we'll just start by uh, showing you these ones I found the other day at a little thrift shop, antique shop here in town. Um, picked them up for about five bucks for all three of these. Um, a little punch here, a little uh, pick and a couple of chisels and at some point I would love to restore all these I was looking around this one's this handles on there pretty good uh, this one is not but I would love to be able to either restore these handles or just make some new ones um, but they're in pretty good shape the steel uh, is real strong good shape now these tools I got from uh, one of my dad's friends, uh, it was I think his in-laws uh, tools and they no longer wanted them. Uh, so I went through and grabbed them. Um, got a nice old handsaw here. Um, not exactly sure what brand it is. It says USA on there. It's a little rusted but I'm sure it can be cleaned up pretty nice. Um, <clears throat> little block plane uh, again not really sure what the brand is uh, some little snips uh, I think this is a metal uh, metal hammer I've always seen people use these but I haven't actually had one of these it's a Stanley sure foam sur foam um, and I've heard really good things about them uh, just a rough down uh, pieces of material this, I thought it was a chisel or a wood chisel at first, but it's actually filled here, uh, which means that it's for breaking brick or concrete or rock or something uh, to be able to hammer on it from the backside. Uh, and this is a chalk line, um, straight line chalk line. Um, <clears throat> it looks really old. It's a little aluminum uh, case and um, but still works these things will go forever uh, I didn't have one of these and there's been several times where I uh, should have had one and needed to use one and now I got one just need to get some chalk to fill it up so now this is the stuff that I got from uh, my wife's family um, super cool chest I'll show it a little bit more in a second uh, one of the cool things here is I, I have a bunch of real cheap um, ratchets and sockets and all that stuff um, but this is a really good set of uh, craftsman wrenches they're not the top of the line brand but they're amazing tools they have a lifetime warranty um, so I'll pull a few of these out and show you so as you can see here uh, there's some good heavy-duty craftsman stuff and they still work great uh, these are ratcheting uh, socket wrenches. These ones are not ratcheting. Uh, this flips over the top, but they're solid. Um, there's also this little set here, which again, this is not ratcheting. Um, it just swivels over the top here. Uh, but they also got some of these cool little, and these actually aren't craftsmen. These are uh, proto, um, but these you're able to stick on the end so it's a 90 degree situation um, in case you can't get down there with anything else. Uh, so this one's a proto half inch and this is a 3 eighths. There's also this teeny little uh, ratchet um, that you can put uh, little tips on here. Um, and this one's also craftsman but you can reverse it. I don't know, kind of cool. I'm sure I'll find a use for it sometime. All right, and now this uh, this chest here is super cool. It's got some, let's see if I can get the focus right. 
It's got some cool um, dovetails, some uh, some great hardware. Um, needs a little bit of cleaning up, but I would love to be able to restore this chest. Um, not strip the paint back to wood, but just kind of get it smooth, maybe get some of the oils off if I can, and then just put a nice coat of uh, spray lacquer, even some uh, polyurethane or something that's going to protect it uh, for a long time because I think it just looks so cool the way it is. So all right let's just flip this open. Um, <clears throat> it's got some drawers, little cubbies that flip up. Um, pretty sturdy. You know the normal hinges down there uh, to open the lid but also this top drawer is held in with these little side supports here and also hinges way back here so that it always stays vertical. I thought that was a cool little design. I'm sure there's a million chests that are made the same way, but I've never seen one. Um, and then also this uh, little tray um, comes out here in the back. Well, these are a bunch of auger bits for the old um, bit and brace style. We couldn't find the brace uh, in all the tools. Uh, I was at my parents' house recently, and my dad found this old one, which is not not super old, but um, he bought it at some point. But it actually does fit uh, these old bits here, these old auger bits. But I'm sure there's a way that you can uh, sharpen these up and make them work good again. This is a circle uh, circle cutting uh, bit here and you can open this up, extend this out to whatever size, uh, whatever diameter that you want, radius I guess. There's also one of these expandable um, auger style as well where you can loosen this, slide this little guy in and out um, and then the cutter is out here. Um, so this one's probably a little bit seized up, but uh, again, might be able to restore it and get it back to work in order. The shelf here is a bunch of uh, bunch of old chisels and stuff, just like the ones that I had found at the thrift store. Um, just some. Uh, these don't have handles or anything, but um, there's a super thin. I'm not sure what that is. Eighth inch. Um, so anyway, here we have an angle gauge, old Stanley angle gauge, a little tight in there. Got a ball peen hammer that's the uh, handle is pretty much dead, um, but it's a nice heavy one so I'll put a new handle on that and that should work pretty nice. And just a giant adjustable wrench. It's a little bit tight. I had never seen one of these. Uh, still brand new in the box. Uh, this is from Sears. It was $7.99. Not sure when it was actually bought, but it is to sharpen drill bits. Um, don't know how it works. Gonna read the instructions which are in here still. Um, so stick it in there somehow. The bit comes in through here. That picture kind of shows uh, how it goes in there and then you can sharpen them up. Uh, so that might be pretty fun. This is a cool uh, draw knife um, and it's actually still pretty sharp. Um, so that can be used to, you know, round out some, um, round out a log or something. Um, pull bark off of a log, that kind of thing. Here's another little block plane. Um, lightweight, um, but that should uh, clean up nicely. Um, and here's a nice uh, Stanley number no. five. Got a little bit of rust on it, um, but for the most part, it seems pretty solid and uh, be able to clean this up and get some good use out of it. Here's a little hand drill. Uh, this one's too small to be able to fit any of the auger bits. Uh, but it'll definitely fit normal uh, normal bits in there. There's a little bit of oiling. Speaking of oil, got this really cool oil can. Classic oil can. 
I uh, put a picture on Instagram the other day. Uh, I still haven't pulled the oil out of my um, out of my little plastic bottle and put it into here, but that'll, that'll be fun to use. And it's got the good sound. This, I actually had no clue what this was. Um, I don't know if you guys can guess, if you can see it very well, but um, what it actually is, is on a handsaw, the teeth alternate. One, one tooth goes one way, one tooth goes the other. Um, and this, you can actually set the angle on here. And if you have a tooth that's all wonky, it got bent out to one side, you can actually use this to push that back into that uh, that angle, so you could go, you know, from this side, and then when you want the other angle, you can go over on this side, just like that. Um, so that's pretty cool to restore some old, uh, um, be able to restore some old saws. Well, anyway, that's all I got. Um, that was all the fun little tools and gadgets, I guess, that I got the other day, and. Um, I know this isn't a build video, some of you don't like these type of types of videos, um, but I thought it was fun, cool to see. Um, at some point I'll probably end up restoring most of them, at least uh, partially, um, and I definitely want to restore that chest. Well, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel on YouTube. You can follow me on social media at Make It Now channel, and you can find me on my website at makeitnow.tv. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.